Other interesting cultural news, you have Twitter fined $350,000 for protecting Trump's Twitter account. Now, specifically, they were fined for missing a deadline to comply with a search warrant for records related to Donald Trump's account per a newly unsealed opinion. It looks like the district court, uh, district circuit court sanctioned plus rejected Twitter's opposition to a non-disclosure. This is under Obama's appointed Judge Beryl Howell held that Twitter was in contempt and imposed a six-figure fine for not overturning Trump's Twitter account to Biden's special counsel so Jack Smith could um, examine tw Trump's deleted tweets. Now, that being said, for how much Trump... I can't imagine... What's the volume of tweets he deleted? He's tweeted such a high volume of tweets. I can't, I can't imagine he deleted any. No, don't, get, don't get me wrong. He, he might have. But it's funny to think, like, we thought he tweeted a lot, but it might have even been more than we saw if he deleted some of them. Although there's so many tracking things online, I almost wonder. So just looking at his profile, and again, I don't think he's, he has, he's not tweeted since he started True Social, partially because Twitter banned him. Elon I did bring him back, so he has the ability to tweet now, but many speculate there's a little bit of an agreement with True Social where he has to put a message there first, and then he's allowed to tweet. Politically speaking, I'm surprised he's not active more on Twitter because for him, it's a mechanism that could get him more voters. And, well, obviously he'll piss off people because he does that as well. But maybe get some more people in the middle. And it will certainly make his many of his fan base already maybe happier. Because they're, of course, say what you want. They're, they're entertaining. The media all loved it. Made great news. Now, for some odd reason, looking at his profile, I'm not seeing the total number of tweets. Because if you go to someone's profile... I thought it actually would give you that counter and actually tell you exactly how many they had done. Perhaps, do you need to follow them first? Why is this? Mm? No, that's interesting. Maybe it's a celebrity thing. So I'm looking at Joe Rogan's Twitter and I do not see, I'm not seeing that counter as well. So that's interesting. I'm not, but it's also interesting to note that so Twitter, rudimentarily speaking, they're being forced to sign an NDA, so they're not even allowed to tell people that the government is trying to data mine this as they continue to go after Trump and try to get as much evidence, if any, real, that they can. That's what the courts will eventually prove. But it's interesting to see, granted, that's nothing in terms of fiscally for Elon or Twitter, like $350,000 compared to the, the millions they're losing right now, just tack that onto the bill. But it's interesting to see the government... I guarantee you they would acquiesce immediately if it was under the old ownership. Well, they already were working hand-in-hand -hand with the FBI. But it's interesting to see Twitter pushing back a little bit against this government interference. And we'll see what happens if they're held in contempt longer or if they're fined even more. It'll be interesting to see. Time shall tell. Thank you, everyone, for taking the time to tune in. We're trying to get to 3,000 subscribers by the end of August. So if you click that button, I would greatly appreciate it. Also, don't forget to, the time to, forget to take the time to like and subscribe and comment. The comments help the channel grow and develop and greatly appreciate them. Also, don't forget to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe and fight the good fight.